Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley if you are new and we are back at this with this B journal. I'm super happy with what we've done so far and now I want to do something different. As you can tell, I've already been working but um, I have used the embellishments that we made in the video before this one and now I want to do something a little bit different. So I want to decoupage on this envelope that, I, well, this like pocket that I have made. I made it out of this brown paper bag. I accidentally put two together and then I sewed them so you can't even tell. But um, this was one paper bag and then this one is two. It, it's confusing. It, it's not going to make sense if I tell you. But okay, I'll try. Why not? Why not, right? My idea was that I wanted to make, I, I have some big paper bags, like lunch sacks, right? But I don't know where they are and I cannot find them. So I wanted to put together one that folded and then I could use both pockets on each page and that would be great, right? Well, I wanted to create that using this. So I overlapped two of these or what I thought was two, but I really stacked two on top of each other. And then, so it was three. Just, just don't mind me. I, I overlapped two of these. So it was like this, right? It was like, let's see if I can do this and show you and make any sense at all. It was like this. Okay. So this is the bottom of this bag and this is the bottom of this bag. Okay. So what really happened is that I stacked two of them. So I have two bottoms of this bag, but I sewed it so you can't tell. And then I remembered, and then I folded in half, okay? But then I remembered I already sewed these pages and these signatures, and I was like, are you, are you just out of your mind? Yes, I am. So instead, I cut it at the fold and made two of them, and then just sewed it all together. So you see what I did? I know, crazy, I'm crazy, yes. But I want this to be a floating one. So that one there is in a page. I don't know if you saw that. I don't know where I put it. Here maybe? Yes, that one is in a page and I have layered it with some really pretty fabric and some leaves, it's crunchy and you can still put things behind there and you can use this pocket and this pocket. So it's like a three layer pocket. And I love it, I think it's lovely. But I want to do something different with, oh dang it, this fell off. Dang it all, Ashley, what have you done? So I want to do something different with the other one, right? And that was an embellishment that we made together that the charm fell off of. And I don't remember where I put that. Somewhere. Okay, I found it. Forgot it was on a tag. Okay. Anyway, I would like to decoupage this napkin onto this bag. Okay? I got these from the Dollar Tree. I've seen some crafters use them, too. I saw one in a video today, actually. So I think that's quite interesting. But... I'm just going to, I can't decide if I just want to do a strip of it because I'm thinking that that's a yes on this part. And then <clears throat> I might, um, I might just cut, fussy cut some out for the other side. I don't know yet. Because we'll figure that part out in a minute. It's been a long day, you guys. My hubby has been out working on somebody's move in the rain all day. He's been soaked, dried, soaked again. I feel so sorry for him. He said his legs are all chapped from being and chafed for being wet and then dry and then wet and then dry. And his feet are probably awful. His shoes have probably gotten soaked. Like, I feel so bad for him. And he's still at work. And he's been there all day long. And I feel so bad for him. Look how pretty that is. So beautiful. Okay, we're going to play around with this Mod Podge. And I don't have, like, a whole bunch of it left. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the whole envelope today. But we're going to try. And I'm just going to play like I'm a toddler. There's a lot of different ways of doing this, a lot of different mediums that you can use, um, but we're just going to play with this today. And 
Y'all, I'm all about doing things the cheapest way possible, the easiest way possible, and still make it look really pretty. That's, that's my motto. That's what I like to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be all difficult where you're going crazy and doing all these fancy things if you don't want it to be. If you want it to be and you want to broaden your horizons, go for it. There's a lot of things that I want to, dang it, that I want to try and that I want to do that I've never done before. But if you're just scared to try junk journaling or scared to try art, because you're scared of the cost and you can't afford it or you there's so many different ways that you can do things and it doesn't have to be like crazy expensive it can be oh it can be <laughs> and if you want it to be then more power to you go for it and if you don't then you can find inexpensive ways to do things you really really can um so don't let that discourage you seriously don't because I promise you, you can do it in inexpensive ways and it can be just as beautiful. I promise you. I'm just being very careful so I don't tear that napkin and I'm just dabbing it on here and slapping it. Ah, oh, see, I got too cocky and look what I did. Not wet enough, Ashley. You're gonna have to put something to cover that because now you've you've messed it up <laughs> beyond repair at this point, I think. I can't get that un untwisted. Nope, not gonna happen. Okay, we're just gonna go with it. And we're just going to take that part off and it's going to be okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't want that to puff down, but I'm trying not to use all my stuff too, because I'm using a lot of it. <laughs> this one piece but sometimes it's just what you gotta do okay we are gonna leave that there and then hmm I think I'm gonna do a stencil for the top of this now I have made the mistake of thinking that I could be a big dog and flipping it over and doing all the things when it wasn't quite dry, which that's not dry at all. So we're going to leave that one alone. Now I want to make a fabric envelope and I'm trying to see what I've done with my fabric. Here it is. And I want to use some tracing paper inside of it because I want it to be super crunchy. And so I've got to find some of my tracing paper first. I've got some sewing paper here, but that's not what I want. Let's see what I've got over here. No, no tracing paper here. I've got some brown paper, but again, eh. this might give me what I want. I think I might use this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brown paper and I'm going to crinkle it up. And then I'm going to straighten it back out. And then I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to see what parts I'm going to use. Then I'm going to cut it so I can have a more manageable piece to work with as I've lost my scissors. Here they are. Yikes, don't get that drug into the mess. Alright, so I need to cut it here. 
And y'all, I ain't, I ain't an expert on cutting straight. I'm just not that great at it. I'm just going to be honest. But it's okay because I'm going to be able to trim it in just a minute. I'm not going to need all of this probably anyway. So I'll use the leftover scraps for something else. I'm just getting me a more manageable piece here. Move that out of the way. Put this back on there. And then I'd say I'll probably do about, probably about this much for now. So right now I'm cutting both of the brown paper and the fabric right now. Okay. Now I'm going to the butterfly. I'm going to see what I want to do. Do I want to make me a point? If I can manipulate this well enough because my hands are fumbly today for some reason. Do I want to make this and see where it takes me? Y'all, my child. God made my child just like me. And it's gonna it's gonna kill me. It really is. It is gonna kill me. Because you know why? That child. Oh yeah. I want it to be super rustic and super like uh, primitive. That's what I want. I want that. Yes. Yes, I do. I want that. I want it to be like that. Okay? So don't you worry because it looks all sloppy. It, it, it's okay. I promise it's going to be all right. Okay. My child is exactly like his mama. He's very crafty. He loves crafty things. He's always stealing my glue gun and using cardboard and doing all of these things. Driving me and his daddy absolutely nuts. And he is going to be the death of me. I swear it. He is so crazy. That was another child. Child number two. That child has asked me at least 20 times today if we're going to go to the store today. <sighs> Y'all, my kids are driving me bonkers. Just telling you. They're driving me nuts. Okay. Okay. Now I've kind of made this crazy who even knows what, but we're going to go with it, okay? So I'm going to cut my fabric to match my brown paper, and that's what I'm going to go with. Again, I want it to be very primitive, so that's not bothering me any. The fact that it it is primitive when I fold it, looks like a kindergartner made it, that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Why am I cutting both sides instead of cutting just one? I don't know. That's just the way I thought about doing it at the moment. And that's the way I started it. So we're going with it. These scissors are... They're not the worst I've ever had. But they're not the best either. And I had some that I loved. Because I took the... I stole them out of the kitchen. They were kitchen scissors. And I used them for fabric. And I used them for, you know, cardboard, cardstock, anything. They never dulled. They just worked so great. I loved them. And my child stole them for his crafts. Y'all, I'm not kidding. Because that child does cardboard crafts every single day of his life. And he drives me absolutely bananas. Because he steals everything I ever thought about having. He really does. He steals absolutely everything. He steals my scissors. He steals my glue. He just, he is something else. Now, he makes brilliant things. Do not get me wrong. He makes amazing things that make you go, oh my gosh, you really just made that out of cardboard. Holy crap, you're nine. He does. He will baffle you and put you in awe and have you just thinking that he's the most amazing thing you ever saw. But he still steals some stuff. And he drives me crazy. Okay? He, do he does. Alright, let's see if we can not get this done. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew this all around, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've sewed it all together. Yes, I know the point's not in the middle. Yes, I know. This is just a sloppy, put-together kind of, let's, let's just do the dang thing envelope. And 
I really like it. I don't, I don't really mind that it's not completely perfect and like this line is not all the way straight because I'm probably just going to do this right here. Let me show you. I'll show you. Hold on. I'm going to show you. this and then it don't matter so much you see so then when you do this it works see it starts to work a little bit better so there's that I really like it like a lot I love the grunginess of it I love how it's so primitive I love how it's crunchy I love the feeling of it it's 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 lovely so now what are we gonna do with it okay well we gotta grunge it up some more I mean you can't just have it a little bit grungy you gotta have it a lot grungy and we gotta we gotta rough it up a little bit so I'm gonna do that a minute I don't know why my country's coming out. Probably because I'm concentrating. And when I concentrate, my country tends to come out because I'm not paying attention to the fact that I'm supposed to be covering it up. And I know, I try to cover it up because I know that a lot of people don't like hearing such thick southern accent. You know, it can be a little bit muddled and I do tend to mutter and mumble and... It makes it hard to understand what the heck I'm saying. And I get that. And Josh makes fun of me all the time because I have such a thick accent. And you know, he's from Georgia. But he don't have as thick of accent as I have. And he does make fun of me all the time. But you know what? It's fine. It's lovely. I really like this. The envelope itself is not as crooked as it looks. It's just that I did that line so crooked that it makes it look even more so. I love this. I love all the strings. I love the sewing. I really like it. Okay, so this is going to be our B envelope, our fabric envelope. Now we got to go over here because this is done, and that little spot that I took off doesn't even look that bad. It honestly looks worse on camera than it does in real life, so there's that. Now, do I want to put anything on this? I just don't think I do. I think I want to leave it naked and alone. And unashamed because it's beautiful and then I want to turn right back over here and I want to do this and this is gonna be the last thing we do for, for right now because my camera's almost full and so I don't want to have to empty it and come back and do all that my kids are not gonna last that long <laughs> my kiddos are being so so sweet and playing so nice but I know that it's not gonna last that long so you know, I only have so long. Do I dare just go for this and then trim it afterwards? It's a terrible idea. But yep, that's what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and do it. So we're going to go this far here. Uh-uh. The child's whining. That would be Alaric. That means he's getting tired and they're going to start fighting. Because, you know, that's just what they do when they get tired. They also get tired of each other. And, you know, I remember when I was younger, I used to fight with my siblings all the time. And I used to think they were just the biggest brats I'd ever known. They were seven years younger than me. So it's a lot like Tristan has to deal with, you know. And they were so annoying. But, you know, I expect Tristan to, like, play with his brothers and not be annoyed by them. But I also try to understand how I felt with my siblings and how annoying they were to me. But I just feel so bad because I know the way that they look at him. And I know that they just love their big brother and they just want to be just like him. And so it makes me feel so bad for them when he's like, oh my gosh, you're annoying and I can't stand you. Because they just want to be like him. 
And that's what I tried to tell him, but he just don't, he don't really care about that. And neither did I. But I don't think my siblings wanted to be just like me. I think they were just honestly annoying. So, there's that. <clears throat> I don't think they wanted to be like me. I think they were just themselves. And, you know, it was a lot about them because they're twins. And so, you know, I was the only one, the only grandkid. My parents had me so young and nobody else had kids. And I was the only grandkid, the only child, the only everything for seven whole years. And they had twins. Like, what have you done? So, I was kind of gypped, you know? Like, you've taken everything away from me. I don't get all the toys anymore. I don't get all the clothes. I don't get all the attention, which was really what I wanted. I didn't really care about the other stuff. But, I don't get all the alls anymore, you... I have to share, and I don't like it, but I think I was a pretty good big sister, and helpful, and I adored them when they were babies, I just wanted to be a little mama to them, you know, and then when they got older, I, um, we played school, and I would be their teacher, and I would teach them real math, and real reading and stuff like that and I would read to them and I wanted to be a teacher so I played teacher with them a lot and they liked it and they really did learn stuff we would do bible studies and I would teach them bible stories and all kind of stuff and I really did teach them like it was legit and they liked it and we would play house and I didn't really want to play house because I was too old but I would play with them anyway my sister always got stuck being the annoying neighbor because she got on our nerves. So we would, you know, I always used to pit them against each other probably because I felt outnumbered. I'm sure it was a psychological thing, but anyway, because they were twins and I was not. So I felt left out. So I would pit them against each other. Like I said, I'm sure it was a psychological thing. Looking back, I don't really remember feeling that way, but I'm sure I did, right? Just trying to get some of this excess off with my finger. And then we'll be done with this, and it will be lovely. And then it'll be a floating pocket, and I'll probably add some embellishments on it. But that's all I'm going to do in this video today. So we've got this big envelope. We've got this that we will see what I do with it. I don't know yet, but look how beautiful that turned out now that it's dry. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Love it. And this will be the same when it's dry. And now i got to go wash my hands. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.